So what is going on guys? I am Black Ops Amazing. Welcome back to another zombies video where today I just want to give you a quick talk on what could be happening for Treyarch in the next coming year or two. Now, usually or should I say, I think it was around the Modern Warfare 3 time, we had the two year cycle on Call of Duty where only Treyarch and Infinity Ward were making the COD games. And then suddenly after that, I believe it was Call of Duty Ghost Activision introduced the three year cycle where Treyarch now produce a COD game every three years instead of two, which in my opinion is when COD started to freaking suck. Infinity Ward lately, Sledgehammer Games, both freaking suck. Treyarch seem to be the only one who can make a decent COD game, but anyway. So normally we'd be getting another Treyarch game later this year. We'd normally be getting a trailer for their game in March, which would be very exciting and I think would be great for the COD community. But as we know, it's the turn of Sledgehammer Games this year, so it is up to them whether they want to mess up another freaking COD. And all I can say is, look, if you're going to add advanced movements, if this game is in the future, uh, God help COD. Yeah, you know what? No one can help this game. But if they go back to the Modern Warfare era, or maybe even the World War II, Cold War, anything, you know, that's not in the future, I think we could start to see the revival of COD. Like I said, what would be the best is if we have Treyarch every freaking year, but you know what, that's never gonna happen. So, getting back to the main topic of this video, I want to talk about my favourite developers of COD, Treyarch, and their next game which we will be seeing in 2018. So around about a year and two months from now, we should be getting some information on Treyarch's next COD. But what is it going to be? Black Ops 4? Is it going to be World at War 2? This is interesting because this could tell us a lot about zombies, which we know is my forte. I love zombies. That is why I still cover COD. I don't cover the multiplayer campaign. Zombies is what I do. Now, if we look back at what Treyarch have done in the past, they've actually never done a modern warfare game. They've never done a game about war that's going on now. It's either been in the past or lately, Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3, they've all been in the future. Infinity Ward have done, you know, the Modern Warfare games about war in Afghanistan and stuff like that, but Treyarch have never actually done a game about war that's happening now. Like I said, it's always been in the past or the future. Treyarch tend to listen to feedback more than the other COD creators, tend to listen to what we want and since well i'm pretty sure activision have seen the mass destruction the mass ah uh, ah uh, yeah yeah mass penetration that's happened on infinity wars trailer i'm pretty sure by now if they listen to the community which i'm not really sure they do but i'm pretty sure activision know that you, you, card fans do not want futuristic games anymore so if i had to bet i'd say there's a 50 50 chance that this next game from sledgehammer games could be in the future. In fact, I'm probably going to say it's a 60 or 70, 30 chance. There's more probability of this next COD game being in the future than in Modern War or past. To be honest, I don't think this is because they want to piss us off. I think they know we don't want these futuristic games. Like I said, this is a three-year cycle, and this game that Sledgehammer are making for the next COD would have been in development. They would have had their ideas for this game before the Infinite Warfare trailer was released, before they knew the community didn't want any more futuristic games. So if I have to bet, the next COD games probably going to be futuristic and all i'm saying is i'm sorry guys but that does mean we can hold very high hopes for Treyarch's game in 2018 because they would have heard the feedback i think Treyarch know what the community wants and actually i honestly think they will be coming out with either a modern warfare game or once again going back to the past i think the future after that will be gone for cod so are we going to have a World at War 2. I think that could be likely. I think a lot of community want that. I wouldn't mind another World War game from Treyarch especially. Are we going to be getting a Black Ops 4? I also think that's likely because the Black Ops series has made so much money. It's the biggest ongoing series in Call of Duty. Black Ops 2 was the biggest selling entertainment thing. You know, it, it outsold any movie when it first came out. It was the biggest and fastest selling entertainment product ever. That was until GTA 5 overtook their throne. But the Black Ops series has made so much, it is known by so many people, that it's very possible that they could carry on and go to Black Ops 4. That doesn't necessarily mean they have to go in the future. Black Ops 4 could be an untold story that we never heard about from the Cold War. It could be, you know, a modern warfare game. We could be going back to 
World War II. Black Ops 3 really had no relation to the Black Ops 2 story at all. So that doesn't mean the Black Ops 4 story has to have any relation to Black Ops 3. It could be going off on its own trial in, like I said, World War 2. World War 1 would be an awesome setting, but I don't think COD could actually do what Battlefield's done with World War 1. So I'd probably stick to World War 2 or even Modern Warfare. If it's not World at War 2 or Black Ops 4, then we'll see a new title from Treyarch. Whatever it is, though, I'm more than sure that it won't be in the future. As for zombies, now if we look at the storyline of where we are in zombies, everything seems to have finished. We've had this eight year cycle and everything in Revelations was wrapped up. Treyarch pretty much tied everything up. I mean, there's still a couple of loose ends here and there, but main story, we know what happens. Premise failed, the Apothecans are defeated and were sent back to the Age of Premise and there we are. Now Treyarch can carry on with that story. As Jason Blundell said, he is going to tie up loose ends, but also that's going to open up a new path for the zombie storyline. That's exactly what it does. We are now Premise and we could start off in our next Treyarch game playing as our original four characters back in the Age of Premise, those many millenniums of years ago. And that would actually be a very freaking interesting time to play as our zombies characters the only problem i could think of is there would have been no guns or weapons back then so uh, i'm pretty sure defeating the zombies is going to be difficult unless we're using stones and stuff like that so that's the only reason i could give you guys as to why we wouldn't be playing as premise and maybe in the future as our original characters if not then it's possible that Treyarch could start off with a new bunch of characters that's the old ones out of the way they did exactly that in black ops 2 where we had the transit crew we could be getting a new set of characters if we do i mean we have had a very long run with the origins crew but maybe this is the end maybe it's time to move on new set of characters isn't really that bad they just have to do it right they have to do what they did with the mob of the dead crew make their personalities all different all interesting all not boring which is what they kind of did with the transit crew they didn't really interest me which is why i wasn't really too bothered about them because the origins crew we had an attachment with you know you you kind of felt for them you knew their story we knew everything about them i think 2018 is going to be a very exciting year for cod actually because like i said there are so many new things coming i don't think another futuristic cod will be coming whereas this year i think it's very possible that it will once again which leaves 2018 to be actually very good for cod since we know that's what a lot of people want also zombies again i think it's going to be very interesting we don't know where the story is going could have finished maybe we'll never be getting zombies again it could be carrying on with a new set of characters a whole different timeline treyarch are going to do a very good job and are going to relift cod from the dead they're going to dig that shit up from its grave actually i'm very excited for cod in 2018 I'm very excited for cod in the next year not this year in general which is something i haven't been for about three years now cod's been dead i don't play multiplayer anymore zombies is the only thing that seems to be holding it together so we'll see where we go hopefully you've enjoyed the video i just wanted to give you a quick discussion on this football's on right now man united versus hall let me know you th what you think wait wait by the time you see this you're going to see the score anyway but support the football team leave it in the comment section below i'd be interested maybe i could have a fight maybe i could have a fight with some of you guys down there i'm not going to do that but leave a like rating if we could set a goal of 500 likes on this video if you click that like button it turns blue don't know if you know that but if we could leave 500 likes on this video that'd be awesome make sure you are subscribed for more videos check out my second channel the link is in the description below and i will see you in the next one peace out